Hey y'all, uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a stone pumpkin and of course I'm going to be doing this outside because I will be spray painting so usually when I spray paint it's outside. Uh, but anyway I just found these little um, plastic pumpkins. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, Walmart, Target, you know for like a dollar. You probably even have some of them just sitting around your house that you can use. Um, but I just took a little pumpkin, cut off this little handle this one right here, cut its little handle off and also drilled uh, five holes in the bottom uh, because uh, I will be putting a, a real flower in here. I want to be able to water it. Um, now, you, if you want to do your own uh, floral decoration, which I may show you how to do um, in a future video, but of uh, artificial flowers, oh so cute for that as well. So you wouldn't necessarily have to have the holes in it. But if you're going to put a real flower, make sure you've got some drainage holes. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do these adorable little pumpkins. Uh, but I have chosen the stone textured finish, um, and it is kind of a gray color. So whatever my stone finish is, you can get this in many colors, but whatever my uh, color that I choose, I try to pick my primer in the same color. So I have a gray primer here, just going to be uh, spraying my pumpkin. Now, after you get it all sprayed, you may want to let it dry, oh, for about an hour or so to see if it needs another coat. Uh, just take your time and letting this dry. So we'll be putting our primer on first. So we let that dry for about an hour and put on our second coat. Okay y'all, so we are ready for the second coat here. And that's probably um, all it will take. You just wanna primarily get um, that orange covered up so that um, it doesn't take quite as much paint, a regular of your stone, because this is expensive. Well, I guess it's about seven dollars and something at walmart so you want to make sure that you don't have to use too much of it that way you can um, make more than one of these i would like to make two of these to go on um, each side of my door way outside Coat number two, we'll let it dry. Okay, y'all, so uh, our pumpkin is all nice and dry now uh, from our primer. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, stone spray to get started. Uh, I've taken it off of this little tower here that I built, and I'm going to spray this top part first so I can turn it upside down because when it is upside down, it's a little bit harder to spray the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started, and we're just going to, this may take a couple of coats as well. Absolutely love this paint. It looks so cool uh, when you do this technique. Okay, now that I've got that part done, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back on its little stand here. Got all the stuff off the bottom. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see the face. Now the great thing about this is um after Halloween is over, you know, and the face, you know, you can see the face on the pumpkin after Halloween is over, turn it around, and then you've got uh, your uh, Thanksgiving decoration. So it's kind of like two in one. Oh my goodness, can you already see how it is looking like stone? Love, love. Okay. So, 
let this dry really well and then uh, you will finish it off by sealing the paint especially if it's going to be outside because uh, if this gets wet it will all come off so you want to make sure that you seal it um, but if you're going to keep it inside you wouldn't necessarily have to um, seal it but I would just to be on the safe side so we're just going to go ahead and just let this dry and then we can go ahead and seal it Okay, y'all, so basically this is what you're going to end up with after uh, your stone texture paint has dried. It is oh so cute. has that little gargoyle look going on. I absolutely love this technique, and you can use it on all kinds of stuff. Um, but anyway, absolutely love it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and spray it with this matte finish. Um, but I did want to uh, show you what it looked like this way, because after I put the matte finish on, it's going to be about five or six hours before I touch it again, because I want it to dry really, really well. Uh, and I'm going to be putting some uh, some moms in here so after it's all dry I will take a picture and add it to the end of this video so that you can see what it looks like um, so I'm just gonna put this right back on my little uh, my handmade stand that I have going on here and I'm just gonna give it a good spray after I get it all put together right <laughs> You know, you just kind of have to use what you've got to make something work. So that's what I always do. I don't buy anything special. I just use what I've got. Okay, and I'm just going to spray this down uh, really well with this matte finish. Now, um, after you, this dries really well, if you wanted to have a more of a glossy finish, uh, you can also add uh, the gloss finish after you add the matte. So uh, it's going to have a little bit of a shine to it if you want to do that. So anyway, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed uh, the stone pumpkin tutorial. I hope that you'll try it and uh, see that it is oh so easy and oh so cute and you could just make so many things uh, with this stone texturing paint so anyway y'all i appreciate y'all watching i'll see you again next time bye now